it's time to head down to the Moss Park Bowling Club, where it's not just jacks and bowls flying this week, the sparks are too. In this week's episode of Bulls. Wednesday morning, and it's a perfect day. But a storm cloud is hanging over the clubhouse. Treasurer, Margaret Beatty, is on the warpath. Here, Sammy. You've not even finished the toilets yet. Somebody could slip in there, that's all. We need a bloody claim. Come on. I'm off you up tight today. See, for any bowling club to operate, everybody knows it needs proper funding. And that means getting your money off your members in time. You take Danny Watson, for instance. Twelve years he's been a member of this bowling club, and every bloody year he comes up with some excuse not to pay his dues. Well, this year's been no different, so he was geared to this morning to pay them. He still hasn't paid them, so I have to suspend them. He's just chancing his arm, cos he's a popular fella. And he's in the semis. With Danny Watson in the semi-final of the regional playoffs, the club hold an emergency general meeting to vote on his expulsion. Danny paces nervously in the corridor of the clubhouse. Yet the bowler remains in good spirits. Oh, I'm in good spirits. I, I, um, I had a big electric bill there, you know, that, that held me back for paying my dues and whatnot. But can he bag me but you know, I'm, I'm well liked. I get, I get on with everybody, you know. It's, besides, you know, in the same as. <laughs> Gear him the bullet. Aye, put in his ears. Bumpot was me a ten spot. Sin dial. Uh, uh, he's an asshole. Hey, really. <laughs> right, unanimous. He's humped. Go and bring him in. <laughs> Good people, that. Come in, Danny. Oh, there you are, Mags. Hey. Where are you, darling? All right. Hey, <laughs> Bad <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous, that's what happened. <laughs> Unanimous, they <laughs> bagged me. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> Friends of mine. Peter Kitchen's in there. 30 years I've known that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the day of the semi final. Pete McCutcheon, a defeated quarter finalist is brought in to replace Danny. Well, I, I don't feel awkward, you know, because, eh, uh, uh, well, Danny and I are good pals, you know. It's unfortunate, but, eh, uh, I can't say the way it is, you know. I hope he's happy for me. Oh, uh, What do you? Right. It's late in the game. Things are not going well for Moss Park Bowling Club, and Pete is losing badly. Suddenly, outside the grounds, drama unfolds. Away you go, you steady! Pete McCutcheon's a backstabbing bastard! The kidney ball for Taffy! Mr Watson, please, we'll phone the police! You've taken away my one pleasure in life, you arsehole! You're an arsehole! I'm Jane and Finiston! It's ten pound cheaper! I'll see you in the semi-final next year, McCutcheon, you backstabbing rat! Next week, Pete gets a new set of bowls. Is that right? Margaret becomes a grandmother That's for the great. fourth time. Oh, that proud. And the clubhouse mysteriously goes on fire. <laughs> now it's time to revisit Moss Park Bowling Club, ten months after Danny McIntyre was expelled in a storm of controversy. It's a beautiful morning, and an important one for Moss Park. Margaret, the Ents convener, prepares for the year's finals, where Moss Park meets Finiston. Well, it's a big day for the club today, you know, because uh, we're defending our title against Finiston. A wee bit of a problem there, because uh, Danny McIntyre, that plays for Finiston, and our man, Pete McCutcheon, I don't really see eye to eye, you know, but bad blood there. Anyway, I'm not bothered about that, because I've got lunches to prepare here and get sorted out, because uh, a regular chef's off with uh, a bad bout of Bell's palsy, you know? So we've got a new boy in. Oh! That's a bloody good advert, that, smoking out of the bloody sausage rolls. Right, cook the lot yourself, darling. Oh, charming! 
Isn't the colour of his horns? <laughs> In the boardroom, Moss Park plan their match strategy. Hey, okay, now listen, boys, listen, listen. Sammy, you need to keep your eye out for that Bobby Kelly. He's your danger man. Oh, no, here, no, no, you don't have to worry about him. No, he took a stroke about four months ago. He's not got the grip anymore. No, he couldn't snap a wet fag now, no. Mate, the only problem I see for you is Danny. He's hot to bring you down. Now, you see, listen, Danny's a panic merchant. Seem to go down to the wire, right? His bottle will crash. No, f Danny. He's a prick. No, 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 Pete. Nice behaviour. Meanwhile, in the kitchen... That's 24 for the fish and 24 for the beef, right? <laughs> Jeez, that fish looks iffy. Right, lad. There's chef in here. Yes. Hello, Mike. Tension is high as Finiston arrive. Aye. Aye. Fanny. Half soul. <laughs> Look at this place, eh? What a bloody toilet, eh, lads? Ah, it's a damn sight better than that bloody shithole of clubhouse you've got in Finnison. Yeah, <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you have some peas there? I've got my peas. There you go. Oh, I see your aim's just as good as I was, was eh? Right. Hey. Oh, there you are. Mags is on hand to act as peacemaker. Hey. That's enough, OK? Keep your shagging fine for out in the shagging green. Who are having this in my clubhouse? Bastards. <laughs> it's late in the game. The final could go either way. Suddenly and without warning. Food poisoning. It's all right. Well, I'll be all right. <laughs> Had the beef. <laughs> I mean, you that's them down a couple of good players now, you know. My kitchen have the fish. I don't know. Oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, telling him I, I took the beef. I, I didn't have the fish. I had a wee fork for a huge fish, right enough. But, but that, that, that was all. You see, I'm a wee bit, you know. But I, I, I think I'll be all right. You know. In fact, there's, there's you there. <laughs> With players now falling ill, the game is becoming a farce. Come on, you! Hurry up for Christ's sake! Pete and Danny reach the final. <laughs> ah, you're up against it now, my kitchen, eh? <laughs> and it's Pete's last ball. The trophy rests on it. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah! And for Furnace, then, Danny McIntyre. Next week on Cheers, The Bulls, mate. Danny receives his trophy from Pete. There you go. Mags <laughs> discovers she's to be a grandmother for the eighth time. What? Again? You're like rabbits used to. And Danny arranges the catering for Pete's 60th birthday party. <laughs> Thank you.